back with us on the Sports Mag Zone. Just before we pick up this uh, cricket story on this uh, day, uh, just in the statement from Barcelona about Ronald Koeman, the reports out of Spain are that Ronald Koeman was fired on the flight back from the 1-0 defeat to Rayo Vallecano in La Liga. The club statement from Barcelona read, FC Barcelona has relieved Ronald Koeman of his duties as first team coach. The president of the club, Joan Laporta, informed him of the decision after the defeat against Raya Vallecano. Ronald Koeman will say goodbye to the squad on Thursday at the Ciutat Esportiva. FC Barcelona wishes to thank him for his service to the club and wishes him all the best in his professional career. So hot off the press. Barcelona sacking uh, uh, Ronald Koeman. I suspect you'd have heard it here first. I don't think any other live show would have given you that news before we did. And the club statement to boot as well. So that's it. It's official. Koeman out. All right. Earlier on Wednesday, Namibia registered their first win in the Super 12, 12 stage of the ICC T20 World Cup in Oman and uh, UAE, beating Scotland by four wickets in match 21 at the Zayed Cricket Stadium. That was in Abu Dhabi. Scotland batted first and posted 109 for eight from their 20 overs, with Michael Lisk top scoring with 44 against Ruben Trumpelman, 3 for 17. Namibia then replied with 115 for six of 19.1 overs with Johan Smith. Top scoring with an unbeaten 32. Final scores, Scotland 109 for 8. Namibia 115 for 6. In the day's early match, also at the same venue, the Zayed Cricket Stadium, England made it two wins from two as they beat Bangladesh by eight wickets to go top of Group 1. After winning the toss and the batting, Bangladesh were restricted to 124 for 9. Timon Mills taking 3 for 27. England then cruised to 126 for 2 with 35 balls remaining on the back of Jason Roy's 61. Final scores in that match, Bangladesh 124 for 9, England 126 for 2. So, these are the standings, the updated standings following today's games. So, England in charge of Group 1 with their 4 points from 2. You know, in charge, they, they're perfect from 2 games. Uh, Sri Lanka, the Aussies, South Africa and Bangladesh uh, in that order. Bangladesh yet to put any points on the board. Group 2, Pakistan, 2 from 2. Uh, Afghanistan, Namibia, New Zealand and India having played just one game each. Now the West Indies are next in action on Friday when they face Bangladesh at the Sharjah Stadium. The Caribbean men are facing elimination. But skipper Kyron Pollard, optimistic. He says... We have to dig deeper as a team. We have to dig deeper as a batting unit. We have to get wins on the board now, Pollard says. We've put ourselves in a position whereas from a run rate perspective, that's pretty low. And from a win percentage, we haven't won any games. So we have to win the next three games. We just have to take it one at a time and try to improve each and every time. Raya, lads, they say is the hope that kills you. <laughs> is the hope going to kill you or is the hope going to kill Karen Pollard? The hope is not killing anybody. <laughs> I'm very hopeful to say I'm confident. No, I'm hoping that we can switch things up come Friday and just start demolishing these teams like, you know, what we know these players can do individually. To say that I'm confident we can go there and do it. No, based on form. No, based on what we've seen, the attitude of the players on the field. No, but... I mean, let's let's just rally behind them one more time. Let's just, you know, put everything, let's just put everything behind our back and let's just bank on their experience as we've been hoping that they can come to the party, you know. And let's just wait for this next match against Bangladesh. They're coming off losses as well. Their spirits would be down. They would feel like they could be the West Indies, especially after England got us all out for 55. But let's just give them one more chance. Lance, 55 in their first game with the bat, 143 in their second game with the bat. So that's what, 198 runs in two innings in the tournament at the highest level. If someone told you that a squad with the profile of the West Indies, with the experience they have there, the experience from being around for a long time, the experience in excellence, Russell, Pollard, Gale, Bravo, all of those guys. Yeah, Would you have believed 
that a squad of this profile, this experience, would have given you 198 runs in two innings and taken only six mm. opposition wickets? Absolutely not, George. Absolutely not. What, what this tells us is that the warm-up form that the team had been showing was not an illusion. It, it, there, there are problems with the team form, non-performances and so on, and it, it showed itself when the tournament started because, you know, we wanted to feel that the warm-up games were just that, warm-up games, and you could see some experimental decisions being made by Captain Cameron Pollard and so on. Yeah. But, but the tournament has started two games now, and the, the performances have been just as bad, in some cases even worse. Um, okay. Puran, Hetmeyer, um, Lendl Simmons, Andre Russell, single digit in averages at the moment and outside of Evan Lewis with an average of 31 I think at the moment uh, nothing for the West Indies to feel happy about only two bowlers have taken wickets so far from the two matches Rabbi Rampal and Aki Hossein so I, I, I hear what Mariah said about the Bangladesh is coming off two defeats as well, so Bangladesh are themselves not playing well. So to me, that's the only hope that the West Indies has, that they're up against a team Friday that isn't playing well either. But from my end, there is no confidence on this West Indies team recovering. Yeah, and can we just please talk about the fact that Jason Holder has been included? I would love to hear what you all thought about that decision. And do you get the sense that he's going to play along yeah. with Ross and yeah. Chase well, on Friday? Well, it, it, would be, it would be a travesty if neither plays. Mm -hmm. I would expect both to play, given the form the West Indies have shown. But I don't know. I'm just not at this stage, of having assessed the two games, mm -hmm. I'm not sure that anybody coming in can lift this team. Because here's why. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Chase... Yeah, but Chase... We keep saying Chase, Chase played well at the CPL. One CPL. CPL C, the CPL is perhaps the... In, in context, the wow. CPL is perhaps the fourth or so strongest T20 competition in the world. So a man excels in that doesn't mean he excels the warm-up match, under, George. Under, but it was a one good innings. It was one. But so he I'm didn't just saying, get any opportunity again. But I'm just, but I'm just saying, it's not as if Chase scored 600 runs in the CPL. But yeah? So I'm just like saying that. So, so nobody can guarantee. Look, mm -hmm. if Chris Gale with his record of runs, Pollard with his runs, uh, Russell with his runs, Lendl Simmons with his runs, can switch it on and adjust the conditions and deliver in a significant way at the World Cup. Then I'm not confident that anybody, confident that anybody with less experience than those, and Ruston has, and you know Ruston is my favorite cricketer, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying that I would, I would have played him from the first game, mm -hmm. I would have played him in the second game, and I definitely expect him to play in the third game, but there is nothing to guarantee that he would have trended better than those who played ahead of him because the CPL four must be taken in context. And, and, and I'm, I'm going to ask you a question now, both of you. The way the way have played, look at the other guys then. Rustin didn't, hasn't got his chance just yet. Hetmeyer, nothing in the two games. Puran, nothing in the two games. Mm. Uh, say, Lendl Simmons. Nobody, nothing not anything in the two except games. Evans. But, so, the point <laughs> I'm making is this. Do we not now see why the selectors went back with Chris Gale? Mm. Because, remember, you know, it's not as if the others, the alternatives to Gale, but that's what Polly was saying. are doing so great that. We don't need these guys anymore. It, it, it is, I, I can see yeah, well, the only The only thing is that some, some weren't actually there, like Sherpy and Rutherford. You know, people would argue that. Yeah. Many people but for those who are there, Lance. Lance. Yeah, for those who are there. Yeah. So, so, so yeah, do yeah. you agree with that line of reasoning, though, Mariah, that it, it, it makes sense why the selectors would have persevered with someone like Christopher Henry Gale, because the others who should now be moving into solidifying stardom and into superstardom are not producing it, so you need someone who can spark at any time to give you something. I agree with that for the first two games that we lost. I'm saying at this point, you cannot be doing the same thing over and over mm -hmm. and expect a different result. And I'm saying that if they continue doing that, if they, they go with that same team come Friday, the fans and, I mean, the cricket-loving public will literally Who do you take out? Who do you put in? Both of you. I'm bringing in... Chase and Holder. Chase and Holder. Mm -hmm. I'm dropping which two? You're dropping Lendl and Chris. You're dropping two specialist batsmen and bringing in Chase and uh, you're bringing an all round. Well, you bring two, effectively two, a batting all round and a bowling all round. Mm -hmm. That's what you're doing? Yeah. Lance, what say you? Yeah, well, I, I, Chase and Holder would play for me. For sure. Well, I had Holder in the team from the beginning yeah, but... and I had Chase playing in the first game. Yeah. Um, uh, I would bring Chase for Gale, quite frankly. Yeah. 
and um, I'm not sure who Holder would replace. That's but you claim though. Yeah, I would. I would. I'm just Holder. not sure who and they're replacing. Okay. Yeah, but well, to be honest, I still, I still think that I'm not expecting any any miracles, even with the changes, yeah. because the team is playing badly. Yeah. All right. Quick break. <laughs>